The market's so to touch, so I just don't really need one at the minute. Yeah, nah, not one for us at the moment, to be honest. Again. Nah, man, I don't really need one, do you know what I mean? That's what I'm fucking worried about. You've got different ones, I don't know, bracelet. She's in her last legs. Oh, yeah. This. Not, <laughs> no, no, not, not you two. Just by the storm, innit? Yeah, 100%. Just keep going with it, mate, and just go from there. Yes guys, how we doing? We're back. I hope you all had a great, great time off. Loads more new stuff coming. Uh, we'll be listening to the comments that you guys comment on our post. So we're gonna be showing you guys some new things. Uh, hope you enjoy. Customers ask for Cuban, so I'm gonna just send over a few options that we have. But this Cuban here is 22 inch, 394 grams, white and rose. 44 carats, 18 mil, and 10 carat white and rose gold. Big boy, heavy one. Miami season baby, 38. White and rose again, 32 <coughs> carat, 22 inch, 164 grams, 10K, white and rose gold, 12 mil. Nice and subtle, if you've got a nice little pendant, Available today in tries for 18 nano five. Little Cuban bracelet, rose gold, 14 mil, 10.3 carat. Available today for 10 and a half. Yup. What would you offer me? What do you pay again? I think I paid about six, you know that. Well, what point is that, do you know? I think it's point two, something. Point two. Have they not offered you back on it? I haven't, I haven't even been back to them before. Nah. Yeah. You're sitting, sitting there, isn't it? The only thing is, they're a touch yellow. Touch. So, what I'm saying is, maybe get them, make them with earrings. Mm. Yeah. I'm fucking worried about. You've got difficult to sell it bracelet. I like to get them checked. Yeah, I like to get them checked for, um, for like CVDs and he stuff. He said it was VSSI. Yeah. Unless you want to leave it with us, and I'll get it checked. And I'll just I'll get the stones. I'll, I'll get, get stones exact. zapped. I want to. Start, I want to zap them and see what they are. If they are what they are. And then yeah. I can get obviously the breakdown properly of how much it's going to cost. Maybe I'll give you a touch more. But I just want to see if they exactly are what they are. We get them cleaned. Get them steamed. Cleaned. Yeah. Get them. Get. Them, I'll get one stone taken out. Get it tested. Get it measured so that so we know the carrot weight in there. What do you say? He'll certify it to exactly what it is for me. Obviously, he's gonna like have me over because he'll tell me what it is. Yeah, exactly. you, 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 what I'll, is, yeah. So you tell me exactly what it is, what grade it is, what yeah, colour it is, yeah. what size it is. <laughs> and from then onwards, I could probably make you a better <laughs> offer. <laughs> but <laughs> even if I get you a touch more than what Al said, it's up to you. It's gonna be up to you. Get on his bezel. Wow, don't do that. 25, 30 pointers on the bezel, look. Yeah. So guys, this is the new arrival. The white gold, protectively 5230G. World time. I've never seen one in the white gold before. So this is a first for me. Obviously on the black leather band. Got the tech buckle at the back, which is lovely. 
it's really nice. Uh, I've held the rose gold one before. A good client of ours had it. Um, I always thought it was a selling piece. And we finally got this one in. So we took this at a party exchange, just arrived this morning. You've actually got 24 different time zones on this watch. And you've got a day and night indicator. It sits really nice on the black leather as well. I'm not too sure if we're gonna keep this one or sell it, because I know Judd's uh, had his eye on it for a little while. Um, but no, it's really, really nice. Glad we've got one in. I'll be able to wear it for a little while. Um, but no, it's, it's a real nice piece. Comment below whether you think that we should keep it or that we should sell it. Is this the whip, yeah? Yeah, this is the bad boy that I'm gonna chill in. Got, um, Where's the CD? Oh, yeah, let me pull it out. That's unbelievable, isn't it? He's also gonna go for the, uh, what is it? Oh, just, F1, just the F1, F1, just the F1. No, like, gumball, nothing like that, but. The whip. Yeah. Where's the, car, where's the carpet at? Oh, carbon. Wait, this is proper racing, isn't it? Just carbon everything. or a seven or an eight, it's gonna be like micro setting. So it'd be like one row. So this is like two row. Oh, okay. It'd be like one row of diamonds. Yeah, yeah, well, so essentially it'd be cheaper. That makes sense. That's 11 mil, that's a mil bigger. Yeah, that's no problem setting though. I'm gonna give you a rough quote now. Well, actually, exactly what it is. Just not the press break. Yeah. You can, get, you can get small ones. If you want me to get small, I'll get you a small one. Oh, okay. How much would it be, roughly? Maybe it's actually, maybe it's actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything, like, anything from about eight to 10,000. Maybe a touch cheaper, if I'm honest. Uh -huh. I need to work at the carrot weight. Okay. I, I need to keep it in my ear. I'm going to ultra feel like a 6 mil cube carbon yeah. cube and I need, to, I need to work it out. It won't be, lo it won't be loads of time weight. Right, listen, it can be made. It can be made. Okay. 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 Got a full kit, Oyster as well, amazing. Still like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just putting those in open deposit now. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, we'll get, we're gonna let you know when that's done as well. That way you can pick them up all together, right? Sweet John, have a good day, man. Sorting out the deposits that we've taken, uh, just giving everyone a call, letting them know that some of their deposits are due up, so the watches have to be cleared. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff in deposits, so by us holding it, it holds up our money. So yeah, we're just giving everyone a jolt and letting them uh, know that their time is coming up to pay for the watches. Yeah, but yeah, he didn't put in a deposit. Yeah, I actually polished that. No, he's ears off on look. He's watering for the mouth now, look. So at the minute, I am blasting the story out like you couldn't believe. Get some sales rolling. Um, they're doing the deposits, which you can see is very, very full. Another week, another dollar. Hopefully, anyway. Here we've got a nice offshore AP, as you can see on a baby blue rubber strap. Buckle's been set, two time bezel. As you can see, if you look closely to the setting, it's compact. There's literally no metal showing 
got 18 points on the face we've got 15 points on the side we're gonna be asking around 28,000 approx <clears throat> that's what they go for this one's a bit more special so we'll see we haven't discussed it with the boys just yet but ballpark figure will be around that a little bit loose up yeah Liam come through today from four hour journey for a lovely piece it's a date just 36 with a silver jubilee doll you know what week it is the queen's jubilee so you gotta cel celebrate it commemorate it god save the queen up we go how are we doing guys you okay very good thank you uh, how can we help you guys? Yeah, there's a watch I was, uh, I was interested. Yeah. Did you put the cover down on it? Or? No, not yet. Just Wait, do you want to show me the watch, maybe? Yeah. Thank you. The same thing as the original? No, no, no. That's a custom doll. The custom doll, yeah. In those years, they wouldn't have done the, the ombre doll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it does come with the original doll. There'll be one of these. Yeah. So if you did decide you want to put the original in and keep the original, you're more than welcome to. It comes with it all. Yeah, it comes with it. All. Oh, cool. It has to be tight. No worries. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, Where'd you wear your watches? That is tight. I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wear my watches a bit up, just past my bone. Mm -hmm. This is a all gold, uh, 18 carat, day date 36. It's a late 90s model. Comes with a double quick movement for all the people that are not too sure what double quick and single quick means. Double quick basically means you can simultaneously change the date and the day wheel. So if you rotate it clockwise, it will change the date. Anti clockwise is your day. The single quicks, well, you would have to do it separately. Mr. Ali, Mr. Ali made the right choice and took the double quick movement. But the boys here call me H. So H, yeah. call out, just H, say H. H is better, but thank well you. Done. Much. That's all good, bro. Guys, yeah, thank you so, so much. Your invoice insurance will be good, world. Make yeah. sure you insure your watch. Okay? Oh, thank you so much. Say, we'll stay in touch with Gus as well, okay? Cool, what are you wanting that for? Tell me they're all not in here already, isn't they? Fucking hell! No, I'll just have a shower. Ten. 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 No, I couldn't. I'd love to. I'd love to say yeah, make your day, but I can't. Because that's going to require some work. The, gla look, the glass got a big scratch over the bubble. The yeah, stem's, the stem's finished. The She's in her last legs. Oh yeah. This. Not don't worry, not, not you two. <laughs> <laughs> don't, to, don't get too excited. Forty-one mil. Yeah, yeah. Have a go there, bro. I said yesterday. I don't know where to get a bus down instead. Uh, I think it was still in yellow. You know? Oh, sweet. 20, the 2021 one? Yeah, 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 that's the one, that's the one. How much is this? Uh, 13... Uh, who's speaking? 13,495, double check here. 13,495, I'll call. Very nice. No, I just like this one. Like, that's the one. Uh, 14,250 for the 2022 one. You take 14 for it. I can't, I've got an old one if you want. I've got a 2021. No, I prefer to pay an extra 250 for the new one. Yeah. I'll take that one, I'll take that one. For that one, yeah? Sweet. For the new shape Submariner 2022, fresh, clean, lovely everyday watch. Do you want a beer, boys? Yeah, I'll have, I'll have a beer. Help yourself, uh, Cal, we got any beers out there? Shout out to the Gourmet Hut, coming through by the watch today, but he also come through with the food. He knows us boys need fueling, so got all the burgers, chicken, more burgers. I'm meant to do a diet, but I guess that can wait. Hit them up if you're ever in East London. They're the guys. Uh, top food, deliver as well. So, yeah, check them out, definitely. From Gourmet Heart, we're all on all platforms. Uber Eats, Just Eat, Deliveroo, or come directly to us, 81 Cabot Street. That's nice, man. So, um, bye, Z. Start for the first. Yeah, because I did tell you that the 31 and the 36 yeah. is the same price. price. Yeah. yeah. I just wasn't sure if it would look too big. Was it the fact that you drink at all a bottle of water? Oh, can I have water, please? Champagne. Thank you. Water, please. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think for that size? I feel like that size is about right, I yeah. think. Oh, yeah, I feel like I think the other size. Got a 
31 and they're still going actually. Oh, thank you. The white doll. Sometimes they go from like 5,800 quid with that papers to up to like 6,5. Yeah. I always like the different colour faces, but then I'll just get annoyed like if mm. I, it doesn't match my outfit or something. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd love a watch like this, but I can't afford one, okay. unfortunately. 15,400 discontinued. The VVS setting. Pal Miami style. Flying today. Just sold this. Did a oh, took full paint for this. Pre Shrubic 7 Gold GMT Master. 2001 box and papers just sold to Mr. Lewis. But just sold that to a very good customer of ours, Mr. Charlie. Thank you very much. I'm sure you baby. Mark it. Guys, I've just nicked out, or nicked out. I was out for about two hours. Come back. Cal's feeling positive. Cal went gym this morning. Cal, tell them what you've done. We've done a Wimbledon. We've done a uh, Starbucks. We've done a Rose Yacht 2. We've done a GMT Sin and Gold pre ceramic. We've done. Yeah, what else was the other one? Done the, um, Two more, are in there? Two more? The Rhodium. The Rhodium this morning? Yeah. Okay, so basically, we've just sold six watches, so we need to buy some watches. I don't know when this episode's gonna be released, but if you are selling, hit us up. At Trotters Jewelers on Instagram, we'll give you an instant quote. We need a picture of the watch. If it has box and papers, and if it doesn't, please state it hasn't. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece. When it was in production, like us all, I'm guilty of it. I didn't really pay much attention. And since it's been discontinued this year, I thought maybe we should get into one. So we took a part exchange recently on a baguette white gold Daytona we sold. And it is just mind-blowingly beautiful. It's just perfect, to be honest. What a classy watch. If you think it's classy, put a comment down below. If you don't, tell me why. Why do you not think this is a classy watch? I'm not sure if the reference, I don't know the reference. It's an 84. And he's got the original receipt. Original receipt, original box, original swing tag, service in 11. So original watch is Switzerland uh, swing tag, uh, uh, receipt. Back then, 1800 pound. I think you might have got a discount as well. Yeah, who would have? No, handwritten receipt, less, way less than you're saying. Yeah? 651 pound. Oh my God. Oh, that's an actual original watch of Switzerland receipt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've seen one of them before. 550 quid. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Original tag, box, receipt, oh, out of box. Watch is like new. The way the client's saying, he's saying it's basically been unworn. <laughs> so, how's that in Paris? Just got sent about four or five that's DMs this morning. Got this photo sent to us. Got this photo sent to us. He keeps FaceTiming me and he went, Who's that? I went, Rio. He went, Where's Alex? <laughs> Frankie, you know who you are. He always calls us. Loves, he watches the, the Trotters YouTube on a Sunday. He did ask me for a hat previously before and we did send it to him. He just called me, he's FaceTimed me, he said he wants another one, so I'm gonna send him out another one. Guys, come have a look. <laughs> this is why Tilly doesn't do healthy food. How did you do that? The lid went on. No, oh, it's really pissed me off. No, you fucking you dropped it. <laughs> I said the lid went on. I'm actually gonna eat it. Well, at least it's piping hot. Now, don't do that. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you need to, you need to do that. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's really... I'm yeah, just, just, just going to eat whatever's in the pot. The old Lizzie lime we're going to use today to go hat and garden. Boys, let's check it out, eh? If it comes up red, you got problems. Can we have that? It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. So, uh, a guy messaged us on Instagram earlier, selling a Datejust 41 fully bust down watch. So, when diamond watches come in, the CVDs nowadays are so good, you can't tell the difference. So I just wanted to make sure that we was buying a VS SI Clarity watch before we purchased. So I went to the workshop, give the watch to the workshop. We've got this machine. We put the whole watch in the machine, push yeah. it in, it scans the diamonds, and it comes up with a red light or a green light. Obviously the green light is perfect, red light. It's a no-go. Thankfully, it come back green light. So now we will purchase the watch. Hopefully, when we get back to the penthouse, this guy's still there, and yeah, we do the transaction, and that's that. Nice. Rio's had the AU vodka stash. 
obviously we've had it come in and the magnum has been op open so i don't know what rio's been up to fucking while he's while having parties at his ass but big thank you to charlie for the magnum bottle of au yeah whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. it's gonna and a big box <laughs> Vodka was unreal, I'll be honest with you. I had a party at my house at the weekend and I uh, drank half of it. <laughs> Certain way you've got to open this one. Oh. You've got the fruit punch, watermelon, watermelon. Don't know why it's doubled up on the watermelon, it must be a good seller. Only a certain few have these boxes and we're in that group, so thank you, Charlie. The market's so to touch, so we just don't really need one, if I'm honest. No, man, I don't really need one, do you know what I mean? Just for a storm, innit? Yeah, 100%. Just keep going with it, mate, and just go from there. Yeah, no, not one for us at the moment, if I'm honest. Again. Uh, we've seen a lot of people commenting recently about how they feel the watch market is slowing up. Uh, we're going to be talking about how the watch market has slowly declined and our views on it and what we think is going to happen. For all the messages we're getting on a weekly basis, the market isn't crashing. It's merely um, correcting due to hyperinflation. We've bought, how many watches have we bought today? Oh, four or five watches today. We've purchased four or five watches just today and this week we've probably purchased around 20, maybe 30 watches this week. So it, we, we still are buying, but we're not gonna buy anything that's overly expensive, no. So the market has sort of had a small correction on some pieces have gone down, some pieces have gone up. So I think it was started off by the root beer, the four rows root beer. That was obviously getting offered mass about, and it starts where obviously if, if one if one group of traders has like one or two each, that's fine, that's good stock. Obviously, if if everyone's getting offered them, not everyone's going to buy them, like what Judd said. So it's not a case of oh no, well no one's buying now. All right, let's get out of them, and then all of a sudden they all start, everyone starts talking, and then word gets around that, that they think it's crashing. It's not crashing; it's correcting. So it's just a, a, a part of a part of. The game is just it's just going to happen when everything's hyperinflated look, as things have got higher over the last sort of year the last sort of year i'd say year and a bit as everything's got really higher so if there's root if there's 50 root beers going around london not everyone's going to want to pay for it no one's going to want to stock them it doesn't mean they're going to crash it means they're going to crack because a certain watch may not be popular in the uk at the moment, it doesn't mean worldwide do you know what I mean? So we've noticed some certain models at the moment that are not so popular here are still very popular in America, very yeah. popular in Europe. Yeah, so, and so forth. So that's our full process on it. It happened before in 2019 with the tech. Yep. I remember when like five nine nineties were like 85 grand. Yep. And they come out to about 70 grand, weren't they? 70 grand. They come down to about 70 grand after sitting at 85 and they were slowly climbing. Then the tech sort of went boop. Yeah, dropped see, off sort now, of like maybe 10 10 percent 2017 people might not even remember this 2017 the yellow gold green daytona shot up to about 49k when the market value was about 30 32 less might yeah but so one for 27 when they shot yeah the, the, the market value was anything from say 27 to 32 and they shot up in 2017 49k this was before all the watch hypes all the kind of people wanting watches for investments Shot to shot to 49k. There was a few people we knew who actually bought them at 49k, and they dropped back off. But now look at them now. You know, 85, 90k watches. I know people are panicking right now, saying things are dropping. You know, sell, sell, sell. The reason why market price will drop is because supply and demand's not there. If people are flooding the market with watches, selling and selling, then obviously the prices are going to drop because they're not as hard and sought after to get up to get. So that's what I think's happening at the moment. I think a lot of people have maybe bought watches pre-new watch releases, because I think the new watch releases had a big impact. Yep. I think a lot of people bought, bought anniversaries, green face Daytonas, platinum Daytonas. I think a lot of people bought these watches pre-release, thinking they was going to get discontinued. I think a lot of people bought uh, them particular watches pre uh, the new releases, thinking they was going to have a payday as soon as they got discontinued, but they didn't. So now there's a lot of people out there who've got these watches who don't really want them, which is what we say don't do. Don't buy what you don't want. Always buy what you're going to keep and wear, even if you even if they fall out of bed. So a lot of people have now bought these watches and now stuck with them. Didn't get discontinued. So they want to flood the market. Hence why the price has dropped. It's like anything. If, if if for example this watch roll, if there was none available, the price would be higher and in demand. All of a sudden, there's five thousand available, 
but they're not in demand. They're not going to be the, the higher prices that they were. I think the prime example of it is the Rose Gold Olive, for example, the 60th anniversary. Yeah. If that watch would have been discontinued, we would have had a message the day after it comes off a Rolex website, and we would have been offered them at 90 to 100K. And yeah. our answer would have been, no thank you, no thank you, no thank you. Reason being is, is that you can't buy a watch and expect to just earn 20K in a week, you know? There's gonna be, we've noticed it, when a watch does get dis discontinued, the, mud, uh, the market gets flooded with 10 times the amount of stock that should be on there. So everyone wants to cash in, which fair play, but that's not market value no more. That's just trying your luck price. Mm. So when the olive finally does get discontinued, which may be another year, might be another two years, it will go back up, but it's whether willing, people are willing to like wait for it. I think a lot of people forget that, like Cal said earlier, this last year and a half, the way the watches have gone, it's kind of unheard of. We've been in the watch game 10 years, 13 years now. For, for the way they've been in the last year and a half, it's it's so it's so rare that it's gonna ha it was it would it would happen again. Watches have always been you buy them, you sit in them for a year, two years, you earn a thousand pound, get your money back on it. It's better than having your money sat in the bank because you're wearing an item that you like, that you want, plus you're earning money at the same time. The last sort of year and a half has been sort of quite unrealistic with the watches how they've jumped sort of a thousand pound a week that's sort of unheard of in our watch game um so yeah like the boy said i think it's just a price correction that's happening at the moment i don't think people should panic if they have give pre watch release market uh, prices on the on the watches i always think just hold on to your watches don't sell at the moment because you know it ain't the best time to sell because like i said there's a lot of watches out there and um yeah just hold on to them uh, we we feel the market's going to pick back up again Anything like 10 to 40 grand is like solid at the minute. Yeah. Like we're still heavily buying, heavily selling, not a problem in sight. Where it's just the bigger bits, like all of the big rose bits, all the big yellow bits, and stuff like that, they sort of took a small, small sort of drop. But I think like we're not, like we're still heavily stuck up, I'll be honest, but we're not sort of, we're not worried at all. We're still, we're still buying if it comes through, you know. It's just only like the certain bits and pieces that are, they're just, are there when we want them. So if we get a sale, we choose what stock we choose to have. We're just going to ride the wave, see how it goes. But if you are selling, if you are buying, hit us up. We will do absolute best. Um, we still are buying for sure. You know, same day payment. So message us. But if you're asking a ridiculous price, then we're not going to buy it. That's the truth. So if you want to allow us to earn a profit on it, then we will buy it, of course. You know what I'm saying? I've been looking in a light and that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that Ready? Okay. You can sit down, stand up. I don't know, man. I don't know. What do you reckon? Stand up, sit down. Stand up. Uh, stand, stand up. up. Right. Display is 24. Um... So essentially, what it does, it displays all these times at once by using the hands and the dial. You'll be able to. Start again. Sure, sure. It's go time, delivery day. We've got a new piece here, as you can tell. It's a very special Patek, because you can see from the box. It's like a see just a normal working uh, face, but... Ow, shut the fuck up! Beautiful. Start again. It is mind-blowingly beautiful. And hoping for a payday, in all honesty. So people... That's nice. Say our prayer. Watch this, please come back up. <laughs> <laughs> please subscribe. <laughs> well, mass, mass, it was offered. It, it was getting offered a lot to a lot of different traders as well. 